In this video, we will output the data that we retrieved from the database and we will output it in the page body diff of the director page. So let's go to the page body diff here and we will remove the CF dump tag that we have created in the previous video. And we will replace it, of course, by a CF output tag, which is the tag we use to print out on the screen the value of variables. Now, what do I want to print out on the screen? I want a title. So for that, I need an H1 tag of the HTML that I open and close. And inside the H1 tag, I will use those two hash signs to tell Confusion that this is where the data, the value of a variable has to be outputted on the screen. And I will take something from the RS page record set. So this has to be the name that you gave to the CF query tag. You see RS page here corresponds to what I want to output here in the H1 tag. Now inside RS page, I have the title and I have the content. At that location here in the H1 tag, I need the title. So I will write dot, and here Confusion Builder helps me, dot FLD page title. I will do the same with the content just below the title, so double hash sign to tell Confusion that this will be a variable that needs to be evaluated, that needs to be processed, and I will take from the RS page, so from the same record set, I will take now that the other field, the page content. When I save and run the page, you see that the page content, the title here, and then the content with even a picture is correctly displayed on the screen in the main area of the page. Now, very simple, what you need to do is the same procedure for the other pages of the site. So the procedure is very simple. You will select here that CF query and copy it with the command C shortcut on the Mac or the Ctrl C shortcut on Windows. Then let's go to the history.html page here that you will rename history.cfm. There we go. You open the page and you see the comment that will help you get page content for page ID number two. So I paste the query and I just change here the ID of the page that I want to retrieve from the database. So this is the first step of the process, retrieving data from the database. Now to output the data, you go to the page body. Again, you have comments to help you out. So you will erase the content of that page and you will replace the content with a CF output tag like that. Oops, CF output. And inside the CF output, you will use an H1 tag, which is a tag of the HTML to output the RS page dot page title and then just below the RS page dot page content. And again, don't forget to run the page to test it out and you see here that the uh, history.cfm page correctly displays the history of the band with a few pictures. So you have the content and here you have the title of that page. Now you will do that same uh, process for the remaining pages of the site. All the step-by-step -step instructions to complete this exercise are located in the PDF file whose name now appears on your screen. Take your time to do this exercise and to get used to this procedure and I will meet you in the next video after you finish that exercise to show you some more Confusion tricks when outputting data on a web page.